Hello guys, this is the Digital Giant series. Today we are going to talk about computer programming and we are going to focus on C programming. For the previous practical example, I was showing you how to write C programming Hello World program. And if you got stuck in hearing everything, in understanding everything, don't worry, I'm going to cover it all in this video. First of all, what is computer programming? Computer programming is the process of writing, testing, debugging, troubleshooting, and maintaining the source code of computer programs. There are two categories of computer programming. The first one is low-level language, and the second one is high-level language. For low-level language is the programming language that is machine-dependent. It runs on only one particular type of computer. For a high level language, it's a programming language such as C, Fortran, or Pascal that enables a programmer to write programs which are more or less independent of a particular type of a computer. The following I'm going to talk about the some terms used. The first is interpreter. Interpreter is a program that executes instructions written in a high level language. The second is compiler. The compiler will read each and every character that has been typed in the program code. Source code. Source code is a series of statements or commands that, that are used to instruct the computer to perform your desired task. Object code. Object code is often the same or similar to a computer machine's language. The code produced by a compiler. Variables. Variables are a memory location in a computer's memory to store the data. Types of computer programming. There are many types of computer programming, and the first one is BASIC, which is the acronym of Beginners or Proper Symbolic Instruction Code, was designed to be easily learned and used by students. COBOL. Common business-oriented language is primarily for business data processing operations. Fortran, its a formula translator, is primarily used by engineers and scientists. RISP, RISP is list processing, is a language used primarily in artificial intelligence application. Pascal, Pascal was developed primarily for teaching instruct instructory programming by throwing a particular approach often referred to as structural programming. The C language. C language developed in 1972 by Dennis Ricci of Bay Laboratories. It is a highly versatile language that has been used in a wide variety of applications from the operating system implementations such as Linux to database of large scale numerical processing applications. C++. C++ is based on C. It is also a versatile programming language that is rapidly gaining wider acceptance in the computer field. MATLAB. MATLAB is a matrix laboratory. It's a tool for doing numerical computations with matrix and vectors. It can also display information graphically. PHP. PHP is a newer programming language we, we've focused on web design. Finally, Java is an object-oriented inter interpreted programming language. C programming language, this is what we are going to base, to base it on today. C is a general purpose programming language with feature, features economy of expression modern flow control and data structures and rich set of operators. C was originally designed for and implemented on the Unix operating system by Dennis Ritchie. What is C? C is a computer programming language used to create a list of instructions to be followed by a computer. C is one of the thousand programming languages currently in use. There is a lot of features of C programming. The first one, C is portable. This means that a C program written for one computer system, example, an IBM personal computer, for example, 
can be compiled and run on another system with a little or no modifications. C is powerful and flexible. What you, what you can accomplish is limited only by your imagination. The language itself places no constraints on you. C is used for projects as diverse as operating systems, word pro processors, spreadsheet, and even compiler of the other language. C has a few keywords. It contains only a handful of terms called keywords or reserved words which serve as the base on which the language's functionality is built. Wide acceptability or popularity. C is a language known by the majority of programmers around the world. C is a popular language preferred by professional programmers. It has a powerful com compiler. There is a lot of stages in programming de development and I'm going to talk it below. The first one, you have to define or understand the problem. First of all, you have to break down the problem in order to analyze and then provide the solution for it. The second one is analyze the problem. After breaking down the problem, you will be able to analyze it by focusing on the part that need more attention than others. The third one, is developing an algorithm and flowchart. To develop an algorithm and flowchart will help you to know how the data will flow inside your system, which will be very efficient for you just to write the understandable codes. Writing the, compu the computer's code. After understanding the problem and you are finally going just to, de to develop the, the solution, so you are going to write the computer's codes by using the text editors like dev or others. Compiling and debugging the programming. First of all, after, after writing the code, you have to save in order to give the time for the computer to convert the, 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 to convert the program into binary, means zeros and ones. And also, it has to remove some errors and bugs. Learning the program, it's just the time to see the output of the program. Then after, you make the implementation and the documentation so the future researchers will be based on this to understand what's the importance of that code. There are three types of computer programming errors. First one is compiler or syntax error. You get it when you have broken the rules of computer programming language. The second is the runtime error. It can be caused by attempting to be to do impossible arithmetic operations. The last one is logical error. With this, your application runs but produce incorrect result. A comment. Comment are parts of the source code disregarded by the compiler. Their purpose is only to allow the programmers to insert not all descriptions embedded within the source code. C support two ways of inserting comments. Means comments is being skipped by a compiler. Compiler doesn't care much about it. The first ways of inserting the command is using line command. You using that two slashes and then you flow it by your comment. And then block comments, you write these uh, characters and then you put your comment inside. Why use comments? We use comment just for documentation of variables and function and their usage. Second one is explaining difficult section of code. Third one, describe the program auto that modification changes and revisions the last one best programmers comment as they write the code not after the fact c programming data type there is a couple of data type in c programming and we are gonna to focus to what mainly use it today First one is fundamental data type. For fundamental data type, 
they include integer types, floating type, and character types. And for delivered data type, it includes arrays, pointers, structures, and enumeration. For fundamental data types, integers, this is basically the numbers which doesn't have the pointing values. For floating, it's the number that have the points. For example, when you say 1.5 or 0 0.5, it's a floating number. But for integer, you say the full number like 20, 10, or 5. Character types. It's a focus on a single character on a string. For example, when you say A, B, C, means the variable to store the single value, it has to be declared with the character types. For derivative data types, it seems to be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to just break it into so you can understand everything. So, arrays, it's a, a variable that is used to store many value of the same data type. For example, you can declare arrays and the store the, the integers, means only integers, multiple integers. Pointers. Pointers is used to, to store the, data the, 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 the values and its address in the memories. Structures. Structures is like an array, but it's used to store the value of a different data type. Then the last one is enumeration. I'm pretty sure that every people have the clear picture of how C programming is being used. So on the following, we are going to use the techniques that we have learned above just to develop the program that can sum up two numbers. And I think really, it's really interesting, right?
thank you guys for your support in watching this video so if you like this video continue exploring on our channel there is a lot of programming videos that can help you just to make some impressive projects remember to subscribe and share to your friends and comment and if you have any problem leave us a comment and i will come up with the answer stay safe